And as most people continue to stay at home, it seems like we rely more and more on technology. Now, when it comes to children, they're using it everything for everything from distance learning to keeping themselves entertained. 13 on your side, Shanna Grove has tips for parents to make digital spaces safer for their kids. Good morning, James. A lot of what we're able to do during the pandemic is thanks to technology, but since kids are spending quite a bit more time on their devices, I talked with an expert in this field about how to make them safer. Chris McKenna is the CEO of protectyoungeyes.com and he says to make sure parental controls like a Google Family Link are set up to monitor when and how much time your kids can spend on their devices as well as the content they're seeing. He recommends being curious like watching videos or playing online with your kids and having open conversations conversations. The goal is creating digital trust so kids default to you with questions or concerns. McKenna also warns about the toxic trio, which is boredom, bedrooms, and darkness. Those can contribute to inappropriate use of technology, but he says that doesn't necessarily mean restricting devices in bedrooms altogether. And so, yes, my daughter can have the Chromebook in her bedroom to get away from her three brothers from time to time just for sanity <laughs> and a little peace and quiet. But there's a uh, other part of that too that she knows that we just have certain expectations the door has to be open and I have to be able to see the screen that's just good accountability for all of us let's also quickly cover zoom McKenna says the person setting up the video call such as teachers should check the settings to prevent unauthorized people or content from showing up and as a parent be sure you're not publicly sharing the link to the zoom call that's where zoom bombing comes from and McKenna says extra time spent on devices is totally fine right now as long as kids are mixing in other things like schoolwork, cooking, getting outside, and so on. And James, on our website, we have a link further explaining how parents can set up controls on various different devices. That's at 13onyourside.com.